In this video, I'll show you how to edit and save rigs in the Rig Manager. If you want to listen to a rig from the Rig Manager content, double-click on the corresponding rig. The rig is now loaded into the player and can also be edited. If you want to change settings on the existing modules, click on the module and then use the mouse to move the sliders and change the values. If you want to make very fine adjustments, hold down the Shift key on your computer keyboard while you change the value with the mouse. If you want to load an effect, select the desired module and click on the list icon at the bottom left. Now the effect menu appears with the effect selection. Select the corresponding effect and the various effect models are displayed in the next window. Select one and the presets for the effect model appear in the next window. These are ready-made settings for the selected effect to save you some time when setting up. You can choose one of them or select a neutral setting for the effect under Load Defaults at the top. If you would prefer to use a different effect model and want to compare the settings directly, go back to the list icon, select a different effect model from the area and select Load Type in the preset selection. The new effect model is now loaded with the settings of the old effect model. Of course this only works for parameters that both models have in common. Here's a little tip. You can also get the effect selection by right-clicking or control-clicking on the effect module. If a rig is still in its original state, the selected rig is highlighted in green in the list. If something has been changed, it is highlighted in red. When you have finished editing everything, you should save the rig. Rigs from the rig packs cannot be overwritten directly. The red buttons at the bottom right are used to store the edited rig. Store rig in local library will save the edited rig to your computer. If you press the button, the edited rig is saved directly with the current name in the local library section, where it is visible and can be selected for listening. If you want to save the rig directly in your Profiler player, select Store Rig in Profiler. A new window will open and you can then select the bank and storage location in the Profiler player where the rig can be saved. At the top, you can enter a name and when you press Store, the rig is saved accordingly. The rig that used to be in this storage location will be overwritten. You can easily change the arrangement of the rigs in the player. Rigs can be swapped between storage locations if you select the corresponding rig with a single click, grab it and drag it to the desired storage location. The two rigs are now swapped. It is important that the pre-listen function is not activated for the rigs. If you want to copy a rig in the profiler player to another storage location, double click on it go to Store Rig in Profiler and then select the desired storage location. The rig will now be copied there and the rig in this location will be overwritten. If you have selected a rig in the local library, you can use the duplicate function to duplicate the rig. It is saved directly underneath with the word copy appended to the name. This makes sense, for example, if you have a rig as a template and then copy it to create further variations of this rig, for example with different effects. 